Hi guys, so this is Engineer Ray Mart of Engineer Prof PH. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So first of all guys, I just want to thank you for my 3.5 thousand YouTube subscribers. Thank you guys for your support. I really appreciate it. In this video guys, I will give you some tips and advice on how to survive your engineering course. So first of all guys, ano ba yung engineering? Why do we take the engineering course? So in our society guys, mayroon tayong mga problems. And those problems actually needs engineering solution. So engineers are problem solvers. Depende guys kung anong course yung itetake mo. For example, me, I'm a mechanical engineer. So mechanical engineering is concerned about machineries, equipments, of course, power plants, air conditioning, and so on. So ang mission guys of an engineer, if you are going to be an engineer, so ang mission natin or goal is for the general welfare of the society. Nag-design tayo ng mga machines or we design a things that can help the society. So engineers design things or machines, equipments that are actually relevant or important sa society. Yung makakatulong guys. Balik tayo guys sa engineering course. So the engineering course before, me ako guys, hindi ako dumaan sa K-12 so hindi pa naman ako ganun katanda guys. So I'm 23, uh, I mean 24. Uh, and uh, yung engineering natin ngayon guys is actually 4 years na lang siya before 5 years. So bakit naging 4 years? Meron tayong mga natanggal na subjects. Like for example, yung mga major subjects natin, wala na tayong algebra. We don't have trigo, we don't have geometry na. So if you are a first year engineering student guys, expect na for your first semester you have your calculus 1 that is differential calculus. Okay? So huwag kayong matakot guys kung hindi kayo masyadong uh, marunong sa math. Now, because kaya naman niyang i-develop. So guys, these are the 5 tips in order for you to survive your engineering course. The first tip guys is don't doubt on what you can do as a person or as a student. So it all starts with this. So bakit may mga doubts? Because of misconception guys. So yung pinaka-overrated na misconception, alam niyo yan. So you have this, kailangan ko maging magaling sa math in order for me to engage sa engineering course. That is actually a false. That is a misconception. Total and total misconception. Oh guys, just to share with you, no, when I was in elementary, my average in math is 80%. I'm not, I'm not kidding guys. I'm not kidding. So when I was in high school, my grade was actually 85%. But then... Nag-engage ako guys sa engineering. I was not very good in math. But nakaya kong ma-pursue ang engineering because of my determination and yung aking willingness talaga to learn. So, pipiliin mo lang guys. Piliin mong paniwalaan na kaya mo. Okay? So, you just need to believe in yourself because everyone improves. So, don't focus on the things that you cannot do. Turn your weaknesses into strengths. So, okay? So, paano ma-turn ang weakness mo into strength? So, mag-focus ka guys in your weaknesses. So, dun ka mag-practice. So, saan ba ako, saan ba ako mahina? So, dun, yun ang pag-aaralan ko. Okay? Ulitin ko guys yung first tip ko. Don't doubt on what you can do as a person. Okay? Piliin mong paniwalaan na kaya mo because you can. You really can. So, second tip guys. Don't compare yourself to other people. So, dito kasi guys mag-start uh, yung pag-lesson ng ating self-confidence. Kasi guys, in engineering, tell you this. So, hindi, uh, hindi usapin dito if you're a valedictorian before or kung 95% ka sa math before. Because guys, sa college, back to zero lahat. Zero. So, it means that it's a new beginning. Hindi pwedeng uh, dahil matalino ka na, hindi ka na mag-aaral. No. It's all about your hard work. So, kung determinado ka talaga or you are willing to learn, you will actually overcome your engineering course. So don't compare yourself to others or even your work. Don't compare your work to others. Focus on yourself first. Third tip guys, don't settle for less. So sa engineering kasi guys, kung naririnig ganit nyo na, usong-uso ang grade na 3, okay? Usong-uso ang grade na 3 guys, that is 3 is 75, line of 7 yun. And worst is 5.0, that is a failing grade. Even though guys, ito total misconception about sa mga engineering student. Even though guys, tayo, Parami tayong mga tres before. We have our... So, ako guys, personally, I have... Okay, check ko lang dito guys, no? So, ito guys. When I was in uh, college, guys, yung college algebra ko is 3.0. We have your physics 1, physics 2, statics, dynamics. So, ang dami guys. Fluid mechanics, heat transfer, vibration engineering. All of those, tres ako dun, guys. No kidding. So... 
But it doesn't mean guys that I am aiming for a passing grade. So total misconception guys sa mga engineering student. Ka tayo kasi guys sa mga engineering student, hindi naman tayo nag aim for a passing grade. We are not just aiming for a passing grade guys. We are aiming for high. It's just that, minsan talaga guys, napakataas ng standards. Even though that you are getting high scores sa exam, you end up getting low grades because of high standards. It depends on your professor guys. Nasa instructor or professor niyan guys. So, nasa kanya, even daw talagang nakakalungkot na yun ang uh, kalakaran or yun ang uh, term in the engineering uh, course, but it's actually the reality. But, don't settle for less guys. Always aim high. Even in the board exam guys, huwag kang mag-aim na papasa ka lang because uh, you don't expect high result if you set low goals. Okay? Even though guys na makakuha ka ng mga tres, or even though Cinco, worst case scenario, may Cinco, ang importante guys sa engineering is learning. It's not all about the grades anymore here. So, but, of course, you must always aim high. But, sa college mo guys, marirealize na learning is more important than your numerical grades. Okay? Importante guys, is yung learning natin. So, fourth tip ko guys, this is actually very important. Okay, surround yourself with good people. Surround yourself with friends. Kasi guys, when you have your friends with you, magiging magaan yung inyong pag-aaral. Okay? Ako guys, personally before, we really engage in group study. So, nag-change-change kami ng ideas. So, may nagtuturo. Kasi guys, if you are teaching what you have learned, meron kang mastery. So, importante yung mastery guys. Or retention. Ulitin ko guys, kung babalikan natin yung ating uh, third tip. Learning is more important than your numerical grades. Always aim high. Okay? Yung fourth tip kasi very important para maging magaan yung inyong pag-aaral. So, ngayon kasi guys, di ba, nasa pandemic tayo, so lockdown. It means that hindi talaga pwede yung face-to-face -face or yung ating group study na ginagawa dati. So, ngayon, very important guys yung mga social media. So, utilize your social media well. So, use that for uh, communicating with your friends para mag-share kayo ng mga ideas. Okay guys? So, fourth tip, very important. Surround yourself with good people. Yung aking last tip is develop your study habit. So, yun, yun guys. Diba? So, late ko na-realize guys that even though walang exam or walang uh, board work, kailangan mo talagang mag-aral in order for you to survive this course. Yung pag-aral kasi guys, if you are reviewing or studying sa engineering guys, hindi ito yung typical na pag-aaral. You need an effective review. For example, you are studying math. So, don't waste your time on too much reading. So, this is not a reading comprehension. Okay, guys? This is actually mathematics. So, sa mathematics kasi, guys, of course, you need to read. Okay? You need to read. But, avoid too much reading. So, sa mathematics, it's very important na nagpa-practice tayo. Practice on solving more problems. Kasi doon mo, guys, ma na develop yung iyong problem solving analysis. And of course guys, dito guys sa uh, fifth tip ko na develop your study habit. Actually, kailangan mo dito ang study habit kasi guys is a combination of study and rest time. Dapat may rest time tayo. So para maging efficient yung review natin. Yung mga distractions natin guys, for example ako guys, I'm playing PC games dati, mobile games, social media, we have those distractions. Of course, guys, if you're playing mobile games, di ba? You're playing PC games, or you're watching movies, series, k-dramas, it's not a problem. Because me personally, guys, I'm playing PC games before. So, adik din ako sa computer dati. And I play music also. I play sports. Pero depende yan, guys, sa pag-balance mo ng time mo. Okay? So, those, if, for example, guys, playing games, uh, uh, watching movies, or watching series, Those are actually things that can help you in your studies. Gagawin natin siyang reward system. For example, ako dati guys, example, nag-aaral ako sa calculus, solve ako ng 10 problems. After I solve this, naood ako ng ganitong series. So, gawin mo siyang reward system. Make it a positive way. Kasi guys, those things are what makes us human. Hindi natin pwedeng tanggalin yung mga Facebook na yan, Twitter, or ML, or yung mga Dota or yung mga k-drama, or yung mga series, we don't need to remove that. Okay? We just need to prioritize your study. Yung mga ganyan guys, ML, yung ating mga computer games, those serves as a reward system. So, it's up to you kung paano nyo siya gagamitin. 
Actually, ang bottom line dito, if you are going to engage sa engineering, okay, it's all about hard work and determination. And of course, guys, don't forget him. So, palagi guys, magdadasal. And always, every decision na gagawin nyo guys, every exam, always pray. Kahit anong religion mo guys, doesn't matter, but faith actually works. Para lumakas yung ating self-confidence. Another point here is yung self-development. Nagde-develop tayo guys. Hindi pwedeng mahina ka sa simula hanggang dulo mahina ka na. No, it, it's not it's not actually true. It's up to you. Decision mo yon if you want to improve. If you really wanted to improve and you believe in yourself, you can do it. You can become an engineer someday. So I hope that nakatulong guys itong mga tips ko sa inyo. Abangan yung mga next vlogs ko. So of course, yung review natin guys, this is engineering review. Lahat ng mga topics for engineering guys, hopefully is ma-discuss natin doon. If my schedule is not busy, gagawa ako ng mga video lectures. So, I hope to see you in my next video guys. Stay safe lahat guys, no? God bless everyone. I hope that you have learned from this vlog. So, sana na-inspire kayo in pursuing your engineering course. If you're doubting yourselves, then din nyo kaya, no. It's a matter of proper mindset. If you believe that you can, you can actually reach your goals. Okay? Yung financial, pinagdaan ko na yun, financial problems before, you can engage to uh, scholarship. So, and dasal lang guys talaga. Dasal. Because me personally before, talagang walang wala rin ako. No? Uh, I don't have money. I don't have the resources. So, I thank God na na-overcome ko siya. So, just always pray. Okay? Always pray na there's always hope. Even though na mahirap yung ating situation. So, like now, di ba? Pandemic. So, sabay-sabay pa. So, you have your study. Kailangan i-balance yung study and health. Pero ako guys, yung pagpipilin, of course, health is a priority. But studying is a choice. Of course, you can learn. Okay? You can learn every day. So, it's up to you guys. So, thank you for subscribing on this channel guys. Sana mas marami pa akong matulungan sa inyo. And of course, yung mga topic na i-discuss ko dito guys, is these are not just, you know, these are not the typical, the way lectures are done in schools. Okay? So, usually ako kasi guys, I direct to the point ako magturo because I'm teaching the mechanical engineering. So, direct to the point ako guys, magturo every concept is actually clear. Hindi ko talaga tinitigilan siya hanggat hindi ko maintindihan and ma-deliver ko to my audiences or to my students in the simplest way possible. Sabi nga ni Einstein guys, if you can't explain it simply, you don't understand it well enough. So, yun guys yung panghahawakan nyo when you are studying. Don't fool yourself na, ah, ito, alam ko na to. No. Pag nag aaral tayo, guys, always think na, for example, may concept, explain it in your own words. Pag na-explain mo siya, guys, in your own words, it means that you truly understand what you have studied. Okay, guys? Stay hopeful lang, guys, na even this time of pandemic, sana safe kayong lahat. And sa mga nagre-review, so, hindi naman natin talaga ito inaasa, no? But, you will be an engineer in God's perfect time. So, you just need to believe that. Okay? See you guys. God bless. Thank you for watching this vlog. I'm out.